Dear viewer, if you are watching this and can recognize the device pictured, then, you must be familiar with Medtronic's SynchroMed range of pumps which has been widely reported to have caused many disastrous health incidents. This prepared video is to allow you, the viewer, to be made aware of the horrifying discovery that as early as before 1998, repeat 1998, Medtronic had already known about the numerous dangerous risk events and side effects which have since resulted in the many deaths, injuries, and health complications associated with the use of its range of synchromed infusion pumps. Some of these events included apart from other things, such as Unexpected development of an inflammatory mass at the tip of the implanted catheter Accidental injection into pocket or subcutaneous tissue Unplanned or unexpected change in pump's flow performance resulting in over or under infusion of medication Specific imminent endocrinology health complications This caused Medtronics to formulate safety procedural protocols to prevent and eliminate such risks events from occurring. These prepared safety procedural protocols were published into a referral guide format. This published referral guide had strictly been intended to be provided to everyone involved with the use of Medtronic's range of synchro med infusion pumps, but for reasons only available to Medtronics, they decided to withhold it and not provide it as it was intended. If you, or someone you love, or know was negatively affected by the Medtronic synchro med drug infusion pumps, we hope that this video and the information shown will provide you with critical information that you might have not known but most importantly that you should have known. Especially, to those who have suffered unknowingly and those unknowing victims. Furthermore, the information in this video will decisively allow you to grasp the crucial importance of the evidence is being brought forth and will provide the proof that the very information that was meant to be given to all users was actually knowingly, deliberately, and purposefully withheld. To prove the legitimacy and genuineness of the evidence shown and what is being pointed out in this video in our effort to assist and enable all interested parties with the ability to comprehend the facts being made available now, we have used authenticated exhibits. Each of them clearly indicated and titled for your easy reference. Please take note. To pause where necessary during any part of this video clip to inspect any specific document being shown that might be of particular interest. The urgency to make the information in this video to all involved parties is even more compounded when taking into account the following. That there are over more than 200,000 synchro med infusion pumps having been implanted worldwide. FDA report indicating that from 2005 through 2009 alone these are among the type of pumps that FDA have received approximately 56,000 reports of adverse events associated with the use of infusion pumps, including numerous injuries and deaths. With the pumps attributed directly to 500 deaths. Now about the information itself. The information to be shown in this video clip was only made available after the following events. From September 2006 to April 2007, repeated inquiries to Medtronic executives for information regarding the use of its synchro med infusion pump, here forth, in this video also called, SI pump, has been made. However, their reply was always in one way or the other that such information was non-existent and that if they had it they would have provided it. After concluding that this was not a normality in any standard of professional process, and deciding to independently search for the inquired information, shockingly, it was fully discovered on or about June 14, 2007 that not only that the mentioned Medtronic executives had lied about the availability of the inquired information but that the information in question had been deliberately withheld. In addition, Medtronic, had even, gone to great lengths in their attempts to hide the said information in their very own archives by separating the information into three separate parts and renaming them individually other than what it was originally titled. 
This particular information discovered and now being shown in this video was originally titled Synchro Meta Infusion System Clinical Reference Guide for Pain Therapy specifically dated 1998 hereafter in this video also to be called as the 98 Guide. The initial assessment of this 98 guide had clearly revealed its immense significance and importance to each and every individual implanted with the SI pump and every caregiver and attending physician providing or supporting this kind of treatment therapy associated with the range of the, the SI pump. Consequentially crucial was of the safety issues strictly integrated with the use of the SI pumps that the 98 guide was systematically formulated with the following emphasis to provide each intended individual user of the SI pumps with the unique ability to protect themselves in any event during their treatment therapy. This in particular was accomplished by incorporating detailed safety protocol procedures pre and post implantation of their pumps, which included part from other things are as follows. 1. Apart from patients. Their families and all involved healthcare professionals received the strictly required education regarding synchro meta infusion system therapy. 2. The strict screening process for the intended patients and that they be made aware of any possible imminent health implications that is to be expected with their intended use of the SI pump. 3. That patients be made familiar to the functions of the SI pump. 4. That patients be made aware of the potential adverse events and conditions associated with the use of the SI pump. 5. That patients be made aware of the contraindications, precautions and warnings associated with the use of the SI pump. 6. That patients be made aware of critical safety protocols already set in place for every procedure during the use of their implanted SI pump. 7. That patients be made aware of the different phases of patient management which includes pre and post implantation education, care, precautions, systematical procedures and what to expect from them. For example troubleshooting for any possible faults revolving the use of their SI pump. 8. That patients be made aware of the most significantly important requirement as indicated. All too clearly in the 98 guide of the two separate distinctively formulated prerequisite patient informed consent forms and the patient informed consent form for intraspinal morphine therapy via the synchro meta infusion system pump Recognizing the implications of the appalling way the discovery of the mention 98 guide was made and the type of information contained that were explicitly self-explanatory in terms of its significance, involving the safe use for all users of the SI pump. That, as early as 2007 itself repeatedly in total up to date four separate attempts had been made to bring forth formally to the attention of Medtronic HQ principal executives, and also the respective authorities. Contrary to a positive outcome, Medtronic on being made aware of this discovery took action to have the information removed from their archive and also from the route how the discovery was accomplished. This discovery of the vital safety issues of concern supported with the legitimate inclusion of substantiating evidences, but none of the attempts made were successful in allowing all the users of the SI pump knowledge about the discovery of the Synchro Meta Infusion System Clinical Reference Guide for Pain Therapy specifically dated 1998 and more importantly the circumstances surrounding its discovery. The different stages of re-examining the 98 guide have revealed ultimately without any doubt whatsoever that from the period before, during, and after the FDA's Class 3 device supplemental pre-market approval for the SI pump, Medtronic had by then already categorically published its own official methodically complete clinical reference educational training guide, produced precisely to be provided to caregivers, patients and all other parties, involved with the use of the SI pump but unsympathetically Medtronics instead withheld it and did not provide it to all those with the indisputable need of having it. This factually, was the very 98 guide that had been discovered. The most recent opportunity of being able and having the capability to reassess the 98 guide and comparing it with other relevant information also extensively reported have revealed conclusively these series of facts.
that the specific range of critical safety information contained in the 98 guide makes clear the actualities behind a great number of discrepancies, disputed realities, and issues involving the use of the SI pumps and also in the many legal cases surrounding the use of it. Just as pivotal the information contained in the 98 guide will also illuminate the actual unreported reasons in reality behind the FDA Class 1 recalls, urgent adverse events reporting, and safety alerts or warnings. The Stengel v. Medtronics Inc. legal suit in the United States and the issue related to fill and refill complications. The unintended injection into pocket or subcutaneous tissue, these with a few other issues which this video will show and explain are some of the best examples to prove to you that what is being shown in this video and its implications, to be the truth and again also to show you the difference and the consequences between being aware of the contents of what is in the 98 guide and the consequences of not being made aware of its contents with regards to the users of the SI pumps. The results of which cannot be any more clearer, that Medtronic had indeed knowingly, deliberately, and purposefully withheld and did not provide or even make available the discovered significantly crucial Synchromed Infusion System Clinical Reference Guide for Pain Therapy specifically dated 1998. The fundamental facts of the Stengel v. Medtronic's incorporated legal suit are as follows. That in 2000 Mr. Richard Stengel had been implanted with a SI pump. In February 2005, he was taken to the hospital where the first attending neurosurgeon to treat him was unaware that the SI pump could cause a granuloma or inflammatory mass to form at the catheter tip. He therefore, failed to diagnose the cause of the symptoms. Several days later, a second physician evaluated Mr. Stengel. This physician, in particular, however, was able to diagnose the presence of granuloma or inflammatory mass that had formed around the catheter tip of the pump in his spine. Mr. Stengel underwent surgery to remove the catheter and most of the granuloma in his back. As a result of the granuloma caused by SI pump, he was permanently paralyzed below the T12 level, including both his legs. Mr. Stengel has since died. In January 2010, Mr. Stengel and his wife filed suit against Medtronic. The complaint alleged that Medtronic violated federal requirements requiring it to monitor its product, to report to the FDA adverse health consequences associated with the device, and to take corrective action to inform physicians of risks associated with the product. Medtronic breached its duty to use reasonable care in its failure to communicate to customers informing that it knew as early as 2001 concerning the extent of risk of an inflammatory mass developing at the catheter tip. Had Medtronic complied with the federal requirements, the danger to Mr. Stengel could have been discovered and the injury to him would have been avoided. Medtronic official statement and position taken with regards to this legal proceeding is that between November 2006 and January 2007, during inspections of a Medtronic manufacturing facility, the FDA discovered the problem caused by the infusion pump and catheter system and Medtronic extensive underreporting of adverse events. After several months of written discussion with Medtronic, the FDA sent a formal warning letter to the company, stating that among other deficiencies, Medtronic had misbranded the infusion pump by concealing known risks in violation of FDA regulations. The letter criticized Medtronic's failure to communicate to customers informing that it knew as early as 2001 concerning the extent of risk of an inflammatory mass developing at the catheter tip. The duration of period of the Stengel v. Medtronic's incorporated was from 2010 when it was initiated. In 2014, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit left intact a federal appeals court decision, letting the suit go forward, allowing the suit by Richard Stengel and his wife under Arizona state law. The very fact that during the whole duration of this widely reported legal process that in itself took five years, not even a single individual had come forward to correct the following in corrections that Medtronic had specifically been aware as early as 1998 or before and not only after 2001, 
the potential risk of a granuloma or inflammatory mass that can form around catheter tip of the pump. This is undoubtedly the conclusive evidence that the Synchromet Infusion System Clinical Reference Guide for Pain Therapy specifically dated 1998 was never provided or made available as it was originally intended. Meaning not just warnings and safety precautions were not being made known to the users but the most critical vital necessity of appropriate consent was never given nor was it obtained to begin with which in itself is the irrefutable fundamental legal requirement for any medical procedure. If the Synchromet Infusion System Clinical Reference Guide for Pain Therapy specifically dated 1998 was appropriately provided or made available as it was originally intended to all the involved parties in Mr. Stengel's case prior to his implantation of the SI pump then Mr. Stengel himself would have been made aware of the explicit safety protocol procedures with regards to the risks of granuloma or inflammatory mass that can form around the pump's catheter tip in particular had been unmistakably indicated in the mentioned 98 guide in various sections meant to provide it not only to caregivers and physicians but also specifically directed to individual intended users or patients which Mr. Stengel was in the following manner now being shown in the video. Mr. Stengel would have been made aware and provided with the ability to protect himself during such an unfolding situation by the way of the following safety procedures already set in place. He was first to be made aware of and to be warned about the adverse events sectioned. This is where that the mentioned possibility of an inflammatory mass forming around the catheter tip of the pump is clearly indicated Mr. Stengel would also be informed about the other possible risks. After which he would undergo pre- and post-implantation education in particular about this very issue as Medtronic was very much aware about the repercussions, if an event as such was to have developed. To manage this issue accordingly. A specially prepared educational section with checklist had been prepared and set in place in section 7 of the guide. So serious was this issue to Medtronic that the consent form had also been tailored to cater to the recognition of this potential risk that ultimately would be disastrous, as it has proven to be indeed. Apart from this all, Mr. Stengel would also have been made aware of the troubleshooting protocol that was to be strictly followed during any such events. To which every physician treating patients implanted with the SI pumps is strictly required to be proficient with the said procedures. With these many strictly specified safety protocol procedures prepared and already set in place in anticipation for such a particular risk involving catheter complications in which the development of an inflammatory mass at the tip of the implanted catheter had been expectantly catered for the way it was. It would be logically inconceivable for Mr. Stengel to have suffered the way he did if the Synchromet Infusion System Clinical Reference Guide for Pain Therapy specifically dated 1998 was appropriately provided accordingly to every user and all those involved with the use of the SI pump. Apart from the facts that already proven by the information that Stengel vs. Medtronic's incorporated legal suit has allowed to be brought forth, is that of the continual repeated attempts of re-examining the discovered 98 guide has finally enabled the conclusive confirmation of evidences pertaining to pocket fills that this video is now able to show and explain. This immense concern directly caused by the use of the SI pump is associated with a procedural risk resulting in fill and refill complications. Pocket fill is the accidental injection of the prescribed drug into the patient's subcutaneous tissue which includes the pump pocket, area under the skin where the pump is placed, instead of the pump. These occurrences have already been the basis of so much painful deaths, injuries, and losts. According to Medtronic-owned admission, there have been at least 351 reports of pocket fill issues involving their SI pumps from May 1996 to September 2010. Eight people have died and 270 required medical intervention due to a serious or life-threatening injury. Another 58 events are known not to cause serious injury and there were 15 events where Medtronic did not know the outcome. Medtronic has been conscious of this almost imminent risk event becoming a reality, especially when considering the two key contributing factors. 
the need for the SI pumps to be repeatedly refilled is even more compounded when taking into account that the type of medication being used, which most of it are expected to be in a concentrated formula. Their acknowledgement of the massive consequences of physical harm and injury in any such event led Medtronic to clearly indicate apart from the other identified safety procedural protocols for users to be made aware of in the 98 guide. It also included a very specific warning mandated fail-safe safety protocol which would have prevented and eliminated. This type of risk altogether was also to be made aware of. By referring directly to the 98 Guide Section 6 of page 66, the fail-safe safety protocol had been clearly indicated under the warning mandate called for the use of the fluoroscopy procedure apart from other things to verify the location of pump reservoir septum when refilling the pump. Fluoroscopy is a type of medical imaging that shows a continuous X-ray image on a monitor, much like an X-ray movie. During a fluoroscopy procedure, an X-ray beam is passed through the body. The image is transmitted to a monitor so the movement of a body part or of an instrument or contrast agent, X-ray dye, through the body can be seen in detail. It would have enabled the injection needle being inserted to verify the location of pump reservoir septum when refilling the pump without putting the patient in any kind of risk. It is also worth noting that even though the 98 guide was not provided or made available to the users of the SI pumps, Medtronic decided to remove this explicit warning mandated fail-safe safety protocol from all of its other guides and manuals starting from its Medtronic Synchro Med EL programmable pump implant manual dated November 2005. Only in 2010 Medtronic Clinician Refill Reference Card for Synchro Med Implantable Infusion Systems did the call to use the fluoroscopy procedure was re-established but this time only if deemed necessary by the clinician. This issue comes to show again the cruciality of the 98 guide and more importantly how it would have prevented all the already reported tragedies as the simple single fail-safe protocol contained in the guide would have given each of the users the ability to protect themselves by not allowing this repeating risk-taking procedure from ever happening in the first place. Another vivid revelation that the discovery of the 98 guide has enabled this video to show the actual legitimate information with the inclusion of substantiating evidences that were explicitly self-explanatory in terms of its significance, encompassing apart from all required safety measures, procedures and protocols, together with both inherent and imminent risks recognition, prevention and eliminating procedural information. Not limited to in explicit terms issues related to the unexpected change in infusion rates of the SI pumps resulting in under or over infusion of medication, return of underlying symptoms, drug withdrawal symptoms or over infusion of the drug leading drug overdose both of which have been the cause of many fatalities and injuries experienced by users of the SI pumps. The Synchro Med Infusion System Clinical Reference Guide for Pain Therapy in itself will provide actual answers to the numerous discrepancies and disputed facts that users have been left with in the past to just accept as final. This guide will also further provide the much-awaited evidences to prove that in reality non-conformity to safety measures, procedures and protocols are to be the actual reasons for many of the complications in relations to the under or over infusion issues. Some of the other facts that is in the guide which this video will show is the need for distinct precautionary procedures to still be followed to prevent over or under pressurization even after the addition of the specially designed reservoir valve feature put in place to prevent overfilling and over pressurization which as a consequence is a cause for over infusion. These indispensable information together with its backup safety protocol and equipment clearly specified in the 98 guide were not made known to the users. This involves the need for calibrating in both processes, in relation to the initial fill and the repeated need for the SI pumps, to be refilled. Moreover, precautionary safety first protocol inserted in the 98 guide would have made essentially clear to users that the error variance did not have to exceed the 25% margin for the SI pumps before it could be confirmed a malfunctioning pump.
separately, only recently was it revealed after repeated reassessing of the 98 guide and other relevant evidence in custody that it was realized that Medtronic had without consent conducted a certain test which conclusively confirmed that the valve designed to prevent any overpressuring had failed to specifically function the way it was meant to resulting in several acute over-infusion episodes which ultimately led to the SI pump hitting an error discrepancy margin exceeding the 25% but. This critical realization was not made known, and was not reported to the FDA. The ongoing decision up to 2014 by Medtronic to omit the vital safety measures originally put in place ultimately led to the numerous incidences of grievous sufferings directly resulting into the many FDA Class 1 recalls and advisories becoming an incumbent reality for the past several years. Finally, the strict screening process for patient selection of intended patients, required that they were to be made aware that their intended use of the SI pump. For the treatment of non-malignant pain requires a closer examination of criteria and that a multidisciplinary approach to assessing suitability comes with the need to warn patients of the imminent negative endocrinology consequences as a result to be expected for long-term intrathecal administration of opioids which was further confirmed in a study conducted by the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism published in 2000. The ramification of the matters being brought forth in this video becomes much more obvious, when considering that the actual number of those affected, are predictably to be exceptionally higher, since procedural nonconformity or device failure are all too often, not recognized and thus currently underreported for lack of sufficient critical information available. It is imperative to remember that it was only after the repeated attempts at re-studying the contents of the discovered 98 guide, and the ability of being able to recognize in stages what was being revealed, which ultimately permitted this video to be prepared. The intentions and objectives for making available this video is to provide any user of the SI pumps who is an unknowing victim with the discovered facts as they are, it would be sufficient to reveal conclusively, that the basis for the systemic state of suffering, frustration and loss resulting from the use of the Medtronic's SynchroMed range of infusion pumps, was due to the unavailability of vital information in a timely manner, when it was crucially required be it pre or post implantation. If indeed, the discovery of this vital information is linked to Medtronic's entrusted responsibility to provide the mentioned information in a timely manner to the users of its range of synchro med infusion pumps, then the natural course for making right the situation in accordance to the needs of the users, is to make the mentioned vital information adequately available at the nearest time possible. As such the purpose for this video, is to the legitimate dissemination of these relevant information which have been revealed, in an elementarily comprehensible format reflecting, each of the many issues plaguing the use of the synchro med infusion pumps, as it would enable each and every individual patient, user, caregiver, physician, relevant authorities and regulators in their respective jurisdictions worldwide involved with the use of the SynchroMed range of infusion pumps with the ability to determine for themselves accordingly as to the nature and priority of the specified information being revealed and how individually they could be connected or affected. Furthermore it is important to make it clear at this stage, that this video makes no analysis or desire to prove anything other than what the discovered evidences themselves have reflected and revealed, as they are self-explanatory. Just as crucial is that this video is in no position, nor is it an attempt, or endeavor to pass judgment in any way whatsoever. Acknowledging the actual magnitude of this endeavor to make these informations available to all those in need. It is hoped that you, the viewer, will be able to assist with the burden to pass and make available the information in this video, to whoever you might know that was affected in any negative way by their use of the Synchro Med pump. In the event that this video might be forced to be removed it would be recommended you download this video by way of the provided link. Please take note of the following key information. We will be attempting to provide these information to the FDA and the other relevant respective authorities and parties.
but if you have a need to make contact for a personal matter, you may send email to the following email. Only relevant matters will be entertained and please be patient to receive a reply. Kindly support the endeavor of this video by leaving your comments and pressing the like button down below. This video is only to provide specific information which have been discovered and revealed. No content found here should be interpreted as legal advice on any matter. In showing the information in this video, we sincerely have diligently attempted to comply with all known ethical requirements. This video has been compiled, arranged, and produced by F.W. Edwin. On December 14, 2017,